In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a stretching spin transition. To get things started, I just added two clips that I would like to add my transition between. Okay, now let's begin by going over to the effects panel. Type iris around into the search box. Drag the transition between your two clips. If it doesn't stick in the middle like mine, that's all right, we'll fix that. Next, select your transition and then go up to effect controls. Change the duration to last for 35 frames, then change the alignment to center at cut. All right, now that we have the sort of our transition, we're ready to add the stretching spin effect. Go over to the effects panel and type twirl into the search box. Drag the effect onto your first clip. Then go up to effect controls for that clip and scroll down to the twirl effect. All right, the first thing we're going to do in here is set up the twirls animation by using the angle property. Position the time at the start of the transition. Then press the left arrow key eight times, move the time head eight frames back. Click the stopwatch toggle next to angle to create a certain keyframe. Move the time head to the end of the transition and change the angle to 425 to create the ending keyframe. And I'm also going to increase the twirl radius to 35. Okay, this is getting closer to what we want, but unfortunately, we're getting some black pulled in from our twirl. To fix this, we're just going to zoom into the frame a little. Click the left arrow next to the angle property to position the time at the start of the animation. Then click the stopwatch toggle nexus scale to create a starting keyframe for the zoom. Use the right arrow next to the angle property to position the timeout at the end of the transition. Then increase the scale to 250 to create the ending keyframe and now when I play this back, we have a cool looking stretching spin transition. Okay, that's all for me. Thanks for watching and see you next time.